hello family welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be giving you this beautiful hairstyle that you see and i'm going to be doing it all by myself you can imagine right so if you want to see how i achieve this look then you just keep watching till the end and please family don't forget to like and subscribe give me a thumbs up if you know i did good on this hairstyle so firstly i part the hair where i want to place my cornrow and then i start to cornrow my hair the way i want it and you know i have a thin edges right so i'm going to be extremely careful because i don't want to lose my edges guys so never you start braiding or cornrowing your hair with the braiding hair like you have to study with your own natural hair first that's what i always do like always because if you study with the um, braiding hair trust me trust me guys you're gonna lose your edges so you don't want to do that no matter how your hair is short don't 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 do don't don't do it so us with the low hairline i guess we always um think the same like when you have a low hairline you always feel like your hair is too close to your eyebrow like guys your hair is gonna touch your eyes you know what i mean <laughs> yeah so i always try to do styles that goes back or up i don't know i always avoid the one that comes to my face but if i have to make something that comes to my face then it have to be like an afro you know but if it's like braiding or a cornrow whatever i always try to make it goes back or up that way my face can be popping you know yeah so i'm going to cornrow it the way the shape of my hair you know i have a different hairline my hair is thin in the front yeah i have a natural thin hair so yeah i have to be careful so after i'm done cornrowing the hair i'm going to be like just doing a big bigger cornrows all the way to the back so you just gonna watch me see how i do it and don't forget again to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up if you know i'm really doing good on this video and please don't forget to put down your comments on any style that you would love to see me do on my hair trust me guys trust me i can do everything on my hair when i mean everything i can do everything on my hair you can't imagine just mention it and it will be done yes guys that's the last corner oh my god you can imagine how exhausted i am having my hand all the up just to conroll this hair because i wanted it to really come up beautifully you know i really wanted it to come out the way it came out like i love it i love it and i know you love it too okay so after i'm done conrolling the last conroll then i just went ahead to just conroll it big cornrows going to the back so you see it you see it I hope I did good though don't forget to give me a thumbs up guys subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell and make sure you click on all you know so that you will not miss no video coming from KF Hairs channel you can see she's happy right <laughs> I was happy I was done with this conro. Oh my god. Yeah, but it came out good. It came out just exactly the way I wanted it to come up. And it gave me that look that I was going for. So 
so for the cornrow that you're going to be crocheting your hair it doesn't matter the size you know it goes like this like it depends on the thickness of your hair if your hair is that thick i guess you're gonna make it bigger because it's gonna take forever to finish right so my hair is not that thick my hair i just have a fine hair so i love to braid i love to cornrow my hair in a normal size that looks appealing yes so i always like try to put that time even though my hands are tired guys but i had to do it you know but it doesn't really matter you know cornrowing your hair for crochet it doesn't matter the size you know you can go more bigger than the way i'm doing but just start from the line because it's going to give you that look if you start straight from the front and where your cornrow that you're going to leave out is is showing it's going to be falling that direction and covering it you know like you have to um cornrow it from the line like slant the way i'm doing it that way your cornrow your co i'm sorry your crochet is going to fall the same direction hair that i'm using on this um hairstyle is i got it on amazon so it's so pretty i got it on amazon i think for a very affordable price so it's called ocean wave hair so ocean wave hair i got it on amazon one pack one pack is enough to do your whole hair i even have one pack left yes i got one pack of it it came like six to eight packages inside one pack of the hair so it was enough more than enough so if you want to achieve the same look with the same hair just go on amazon and type ocean wave hair you'll get it so all i did is just um crochet it from the back to the front that's it so when i crochet my my hair i did not the end twice that way it doesn't come out so that's how i do it just knot it twice and that's it it's very easy to crochet your hair right so i really really love the way this hair came out oh my god it was so stunning you can't believe everyone was like your hair is beautiful i love it it looks good on you yeah so i guess i'll be doing it again in a different form yeah i'll be doing it again so i love it too so it really came out good it really really came out good i am happy that i decided to put the cornrows on the side that way it makes it look more more beautiful i love it i love it and i know you love it too right and please don't forget again to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you can see what i was talking about you um cornering your hair from the line to the back not from the front to the back that way your crochet is gonna stay on the same spot you can see the way my uh, my crochet is falling it doesn't fall towards the direction of the braid that i'm going to the cornrow that i'm going to be leaving out so if you cornrow your hair from the line going the opposite direction like slanted your crochet is going to come up beautifully so you don't want to um, braid it from the front braid it from the line and just slant it 
thank you all once more for watching and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna see you all in my next video bye